What is up guys, Yellow Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 10 of my Madden 17 Fantasy Draft franchise. In today's episode, we are going up against the Miami Dolphins. They're not the most team in the world. They have a really nice receiving core, really nice tight end, and a really nice left tackle in Tyron Smith. So like, I would say the main concern against this team is really just trying to stop the passing game, but they don't actually have that good of a quarterback. I don't remember exactly who it is, uh, but I think it was kind of a funny team setup that this team had, and um, currently they are 3-6 and six due to the setup, so we're going to try to come in here and win this game of course we're coming off a, a, probably our most impressive one of the season against an eight and one i believe uh, we play the jets an eight and one jets team in the last episode who were led by cam newton and i mean they were eight and one so they're the, one of the most dominant teams in the nfl i believe they actually had the best record in, in the nfl so going out there and being able to beat them was definitely our most impressive win so now we're gonna have to come back down and hopefully get an easier opponent on paper here with the Miami Dolphins, so we'll just try to do whatever we can here, trying to try to uh, continue that winning streak that we're currently on. So in this game specifically, we will actually be starting receiving the ball. So this guy Dorsa is going to be our kick returner. I mean, this guy is an absolute phenomenon. Uh, I mean, he's so crazy when it comes to how fast he is. Um, but either way, we're gonna start off this game kind of negative. I mean, we're gonna start off pretty bad here in the offensive game. You see, our first play of the game, we try running the ball, and this actually be third and eight. We try passing the ball over to Adrian Peterson. And we get stuffed, so we don't get anything going in our first offensive drive. But luckily, we get kind of a similar story here for the Dolphins. They throw the ball over to the left side by uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. I guess that's who their quarterback is. And nothing really going there for them as their wide receiver will drop the ball. Once again, thrown to the left side of the field. This time on third and ten, their wide, re wide receiver will catch this ball, but he'll be falling out of bounds, only giving them four yards. And of course, that will not be enough for the first down. So right here, we will be trying to return this punt, seeing what we can do. We see a lot of this right side of the field open, so we're going to cut over to the right side get all the way about to midfield right there after a dirty spin move uh, but sadly due to a block in the back we do get brought back about 10 yards but either way we still get pretty pretty far downfield due to that um, punt return but once again you see third and eight we're gonna try to throw this ball to the right side of the field and once again nothing going here this Dolphins defense doing a phenomenal job so we're really gonna have to try to figure something out if we're gonna want to come back out here and do something impressive but we don't need to score offensively if we can score defensively and that's exactly what we're gonna do right here as Danny Trebathan is gonna catch that ball and get a pick six so luckily for us uh, following that, they don't actually do anything on their very next drive, and finally we get an offensive big play. Right here we throw the ball over the middle to Tony Dursa, I believe his first name is Tony, uh, with Carson Wentz. He's going to get about 30 yards on that one. And on the very next play, we're going to do a play action, or actually a few plays later, we're going to get a play action, throw it over to the right side of the field to our boy Rob Gronkowski for about a gain of 20 yards. And now this time we're scrambling right side, we see a lot of open room, we're going to try scrambling Car uh, Carson Wentz and we'll be successful. I meant to dive, I meant to slide, but sadly I do dive, but luckily... Uh, he does not fumble then right here adrian pearson struggling off all these tacklers he's going to break three separate tackles to bring this one in the right side of the end zone right by the pylon and we're going to happen to go up by two touchdowns sadly though on that last touchdown we do actually happen to miss the point after attempt uh, so we'll only be able to be up by 13 points we'll be up 13-0 so right here the uh, dolphins are doing whatever they can to come back down here try to get an offensive drive of their own you see it's third and two we're try we're gonna try blitzing i knew they were gonna run the ball but sadly they run the ball to the outside part of the field and with Eric Reed, I just completely misread how I'm going to tackle this ball, or how I'm going to miss, or how I'm going to tackle this player. And uh, I believe the running back—I don't know exactly who it is. Looks like who is that? Brandon Oliver is going to be very successful in reading that, and he's going to take it all the way to the end zone. So we're going to come back here with about two and a half minutes left in the half, and we're going to try to get a nice little drive here and try to get some extra points before we go into halftime. So we're going to see what we can do here. First, we get a really nice play over the middle. Now, right here with Adrian Pearson, we're going to throw it over to the left side of the field. He's going to manage to get about 10 yards on that one, and uh, obviously get us the first down now. Looking to the right side of the field, we see Rob Gronkowski. We're going to give a little check down pass to him. Now three yards away from the end zone. First and goal. We're going to throw it over to Adrian Peterson. He's once again going to bring it to the right side of the field. Right by the pylon, just like the last touchdown. And that will be a second rushing touchdown in the game. And we're going to happen to go in halftime up 20-7. to seven. So now the Dolphins are going to come back here. Do whatever they can. You see it's second and 14, but a really nice run by Brandon Oliver. will happen to give him that first down. About a 20-yard run right there. And then once again, another run. This time not by Brandon Oliver. I don't see exactly who that is, but... Another great run, that's going to be Charkandrick West. Uh, brings all the way down to my 35 yard line. So, they're finally starting to do something offensively, and of course this gives me some reason to be concerned. Uh, they, uh, I mean, I just don't want them to get heated up and start going crazy on me, because I obviously want to walk out of here. Try to get a win right here, though. I'm reading that HP screen on a 39 play, and they're not going to be able to get that first down. So, right here on 4th and 9, they're going to have to settle for this field goal, and we're going to remain up 2 possessions, go up, or remain up 20-10. to 10. So, right here... Once again, we're looking to the left side of the field. It looks like we have the X button open, but we're throwing it off our back foot. And the triple coverage right there is going to be tackled. It looked like he may have caught the ball, but him actually dropping the pass right there could have been the worst thing that could have happened because that safety is going to be able to break down and catch that ball for the interception. And now Brandon Oliver uh, running back up the middle. 
you see they're nine they're now nine yards away from the end zone but once again right here on third and goal we're going to keep Fitzpatrick from having any options he's gonna have to throw that ball away and once again they'll have to settle for a field goal but still this gives me some reason to be concerned right here we're only up by seven points 20 to 13 to be specific with about eight minutes left in the quarter which which, which obviously leaves me with a lot of room for concern because I that's a lot of time for the Dolphins to come back here and do something. So my main way of trying to stay out of all this pressure is I need to do something offensively to remain up by two possessions. So right here I'm looking over the middle to our man Adrian Peterson. He already has one great running play. He already has one great passing. Uh, I actually believe that was a reception. So two back to, or back to back great receptions from Adrian Peterson. But right here. We throw it into major coverage on the left side of the field, and Steven Tulek with the second interception of the game will bring the Dolphins, or actually give them a chance, but luckily for us, they don't do anything on the offensive side of the ball, and we're going to get Dorsett over on the left side of the field. They're trying to play one-on-one -on -one man coverage, and that guy is too fast for you to play one-on-one -on -one man coverage against, and we are going to get a 75-yard reception touchdown, and all around, that's about three minutes left in the game, and that is going to be exactly what wraps it up, so if you look closely right here in the top right corner of your screen, this will be the final couple of seconds of the game, you see the clock has now run out. Um, of course, I'm going to try to tease them, uh, try to cheese them actually, and try to get a touchdown on this. And we actually almost do it, uh, but we're going to get tackled here about 40 yards away. And we're going to walk out of this game with another win. So we're out here getting some big wins, getting another winning streak. And I'm really, really happy with our team's performance. And not only that, but I'm really happy with the amount of support you guys are showing for the series. So thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed, please click that like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and what I could do to make more interesting in the comment section below. And lastly, subscribe if you have not already to stay tuned to the series and other series I got going on my channel. Not the best game from Carson Wentz, but we're still able to walk out here with a win. So that's very, very promising for the future. Very good job from a defense. And I'm happy to walk out here with another win. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.